Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect for IBM's Maximo Asset Management product. And in today's video recording, we're going to continue our discussions of the Maximo X Work Centers, and I'll demonstrate how you can modify a query associated with an object structure to render the content in the work center that meets your individual business needs. So at a very top level in our previous demo, or excuse me, our previous recording, we talked about the importance of object structures and queries. What we're going to do here is we're going to delve into the details of the work center for the supervisor. The supervisor, when he signs into his work center, he sees four containers or four columns with a variety of records associated to each one. Well, we're going to change the query associated with the containers so that the content rendered meets your individual business needs. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to go into Maximo Classic, bring up the integration object structure. We're going to modify the very first column, approve work, and the query associated with that. And we're going to simply add, a, add an additional filter to further refine the results. Again, it's just an example of modifying the query to change the content that meets your applicable business needs. So let's go right into the demonstration. Here I am in a Maximo X Work Center for the supervisor. These are the four containers or columns that I mentioned, approve, assign, monitor, and close work. Let's focus over here on the far left-hand side with approve work. Imagine that the query we deliver out of the box for this work supervisor does not meet your individual business needs and you want to modify it. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that, but first, notice the number of results that appear. I have eight cards or eight records in the approve work container that need the supervisor's action. Well, to quickly highlight we, how we can modify that, I'm simply going to add another filter to only show you priority three records. Well, let's sign out of our Maximo Work Center as our supervisor and come into the associated Maximo Classic environment. And I've already pre-signed in here as Mike Wilson, our administrator. Come over to Integration Object Structures. And I'm going to bring up the MX API Woe Detail. This is the main object structure that is driving content for both the supervisor and the technician. And I'll show you how you can find the name of the object structure if you're utilizing these work centers in Maximo. But let me quickly highlight a few things. First off, when I bring up this object structure, not notice that it starts with MX API. That's our identifier. Here's my consume by integration. Let's check out the objects associated with this. This is a most, one, of one of the most powerful lookups in Maximo today, showing you your hierarchy of database tables. But what I really want to show here is my query definition. It's an action available that was added in 7.6 towards the bottom of your action menu. And what I'm going to see is the queries associated with my object structure. In this case, I have nine. And I can see all the query names. And I come over here, and I can start to see some of them that are associated with the technician. But remember, we wanted to focus on approved work. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to open up this record. And I can see the query, the SQL where clause, that is driving the record content of that container. Well, again, I just want to add something very, very simple here. And I've copied it over here to Notepad. And I just want to add where woe priority is 3. And let me make sure I got my spacing correct. So history flag is task, woe priority 3. I'm going to leave everything else the same. And I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to take a second or so to refresh my content. And I'm going to sign out of Maximo Classic as my administrator. So before I sign back in as Maximo X, I want to come back to the PowerPoint here and highlight a few different things. When you update the query through the object structure, make sure that you always save the original content. You always want to have that base to revert back to. After you change it, make sure you sign out of both Maximo Classic and Maximo X. There's a, 
a, a note out here that maybe we should debate a minute or so. I never really time myself, but it might it might take a few seconds to take effect, and then you should be able to sign into Maximo X, and your new query should be applied. It says as a disclaimer that you may need a server restart if the query does not take effect. And all the times I've done this, I have not had that required. But again, that's just a disclaimer if it doesn't pick up right away. So now I have actually a new browser session open and I'm gonna sign back in as at our supervisor. And let's look at that far left hand, far left hand side, excuse me, container for approving work. And we want to see if now we only see priority three work orders. And look, there we go. My number of query results went from eight to four. And over here on the far left hand side, I can see only those queries that I modified. So it's driving the content of the individual container. It's so powerful and so exciting because now we're giving you the building blocks that you can start configuring the work centers for your individual needs. So before I leave, one of the important questions that clients often ask us is how do I find what object structures and queries are associated with? Well, uh, here I am in the Maximo Wiki. I'm under the Maximo user experience. Under this new content called Maximo Sender Configuration, you can scroll through here and we're building up the content of the work centers and their associated object structures. And then the queries down below that are driving the individual containers or content. Please note that there are a number of object structures associated to each individual work center, but some have the queries associated with it, again, that are going to drive that record content. We'll build up this content so you know exactly ones are, which, which, <laughs> let me try this again. We're going to build up this content so you know which ones to look for, but I'll just highlight one other thing really, really quickly because again, this is so exciting. If you ever want to explore that yourself, just come over to the security group applications. See if I can pull this up really quickly. Let's bring up our max admin group. And then let's imagine that I'm over here in my applications and I want to filter here on technician. Um, nope, I want work technician, I believe. See if I can find our individual guy. Oh, here it is, my work execution, perfect. And then I wanna look at my object structure authorizations. Let's look over here and let's look for my MX API woe detail. There he is right over here. And you can see how important this specific object structure is to render the content of whether it's the supervisor or the technician. We can go into that in more detail in further videos, but again, it's just so exciting how all this information is all coming together for the work centers so you can configure the content to meet your individual needs. So with that, I'd like to thank you very, very much for your time.